Hello traders, hope you are all doing great. So I was just waiting for US inflation rate uh, which is out and it is uh, up by 8 point. It's uh, actually it's 8.6%. Uh, so last month uh, April it was 8.3%. Then March was 8.5%. So we exceeded even March. Now it is up by is it is 8.6%. So when this happens, you know what is going to happen. Uh, US Federal Reserve is going to uh, be more hawkish hawkish in the sense they are going to increase the interest rate uh, very aggressively right coming going forward so there is no way market is going to go up you just have to short the market that is what it means and you know european markets also european markets also are in the red for the last three or four trading session so this is the uh, yeah, uh, inflation data so if you can see here march was 8.5 percent uh, then april was 8.3 percent so we exceeded march itself it is 8.6 percent and if you see here u.s futures uh, u.s futures are down by uh, as we closed our markets closed uh, u.s was u.s futures was trading flat now it is down by 256 uh, snp nasdaq everything is down so going forward uh, as i told you going forward we may see a hawkish stance by every governors all over the world all all over the world uh, central banks are going to increase the interest rate and when there is increase in interest rate markets are likely to go down there is no way market is going to go up so this is what we were talking about not now for a very long time at least for six months i have been saying markets are going to go down markets are going to go down but everybody was trolling me and they were abusing me saying that you don't know about the market that this blah 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 all kind of thing they were saying anyway it is okay we have been seeing all this stroller even when i had uh, two subscribers i <laughs> these trollers were here now we are around twenty five thousand subscribers now also trollers are there right so let's see how things pan out uh, probably markets are going to gap down uh, on monday and uh, everywhere everyone was kind of afraid like there was uh, like you know in social media like uh, every like uh, some people are squaring off their position exiting their position and even some people whatsapp me today uh, whether we can stay in the position or square off because of this uh, us inflation data nothing to afraid whatever story or whatever things you got here is already factored in you don't have to worry market is not going to go or uh, you are not going to see uh, uh, Dow Jones fall 10% or 5%, nothing is going to happen. Everything is factored in and Monday probably will gap down maybe 16,000 or even below 16,000. That we will have to see how you smart to this action then we will see on monday what is going to happen and nifty our markets crazy crazy guys yesterday i told see i told you no these people are maniac yesterday high was 16500 i am talking about nifty and today's low is around 16150 more than 350 points swing in just six hours it just took six hours not six hours maybe ten hours from uh, uh, from yesterday closing to today morning opening around 350 points gone and bank nifty is around uh, 800 points down right so whatever whoever were uh, went long in the market yesterday would have uh, would have paid uh, who would have booked a loss or they would have uh, booked a minor uh, loss whatever right so this is how markets behave this is what i am saying every uh, rise in the market is an opportunity to sell so you will have to remember this and uh, as of now i don't think fii data would have come and even if it is coming uh, they would have sold these buggers would have sold uh, heavily only right so let us see if FI data has come. Uh, in the meantime, we will see the open interest also. So if you see the open interest, <coughs> there is aggressive call writing from 16,300 to, yeah, from 16,300 to all the way to around 17,000. And if you see the highest open interest is at around 16,500. 
so everybody knew that this is going to happen and this is going to come and uh, when it comes to bank nifty if you see uh, markets like uh, yeah there is aggressive call writing 35000 is going to act as a super resistance and the downside i really don't know we'll have to wait and see how things pan out how what is going to be the price action then we will come to know if uh, they are uh, if there is any support or now so for now all these days uh, nifty and ba nifty was holding to 15800 and going forward i don't think that is going to be held and sooner or later this 15800 which is a very long term support is going to be taken out we just have to wait we don't know when that is going to happen probably in the coming days 10 or 15 days you will uh, come to know we will uh, take the uh, this 15800 long term support uh, sooner or later right and fi data is also out uh, our big brothers have sold for around 3973 crores cash provision and the dais have bought for around 2831 crores right in yesterday's uh, video also i told or in yesterday's uh, yeah yesterday's video i gave you a wrong information that uh, 17000 is trading for 30 rupees it was not 17000 i think it is 16700 today morning only i checked and yesterday many people commented that uh, 17000 is just trading for 10 rupees Uh, actually it was 16700 which is trading at which was trading at 30 rupees and today we made excellent profit in 16700 call option and uh, today also we sold 16500 call option we booked profit in 16700 we booked uh, we are uh, even our 16500 call option is also in good profit and if it if it goes below 16000 uh, uh below 16000 we'll try to sell even 16300 or 16400 as and when the market rises it is an excellent opportunity to for you to sell the market just go and sell the market this is a long time story long term story this is not going to end soon so going forward as i told you interest rates are going to increase worldwide every governor reserve bank governor central bank governors or in hawkish stance whether it is europe asia or us everybody is having a hawkish stance so they will be aggressively increasing the interest rate so when the rate is in interest rates are increasing economy will slow down there is no way economy will bloom when there is a rise in interest rate they are just controlling the cash flow into the market they are just what they are just, what they are trying to do is they are uh, like um, uh, they are uh, they are increasing the interest rates uh, so that this loans are going to get expensive so that people will not take loan they will not spend instead they will save so that's what <laughs> they are trying to do right uh, so that's it uh, nothing much let me check the us futures once more uh, let us see if there is uh, any uh, yeah how it is performing yeah even now as i talk to you dow jones is down by 300 uh, and s&p is down by 44 and nasdaq is down by 162 once the us markets open we don't know how markets are going to react and as usual our markets will over react right if the if dow future dow uh, spot is down by 2% our sgx nifty will and we will will be down by 4% and we will gap down by 3.5% so that's what is happening in <laughs> nowadays right anyway uh, last week we made good money this week also till now we have made uh, decent money uh, let's hope for the best previously we were reacting now we are proactive yes uh, previously we are rea we were reactive now we are proactive we are just thinking what could go wrong and taking action based on that so i think that is working uh, for now so let's hope for the best nothing much thank you for watching take care bye